the title tells it all. And when you visit, you will see it all at the Japanese American National Museum here, as you said, in Little Tokyo. It features the actual historic photographs from 1942 to take you to 1942. But what makes this so unique and unlike anything you've ever seen at a museum before is you are immersed in the historic moment. This made possible by pioneering a digital media artist Masaki Fujihata, who takes the actual historic photographs and digitally takes you to 1942. Even to me, the effect is very strong. So after we saw the people and the luggages on the street, we, we cannot cross. So we, we, we already, our brain already started, the someone is already here, but the augmented reality uh, with this, you know, way of using, the effect is very, very strong. I, I, in a way, I'm very happy, but, and also I was very much surprised because uh, with my, within my career over 30 years, this is my first time to see my audience with the, the tears. Now in Fujihara's digital art masterpiece, the people you see, some of the people you see in this experience were actually relocated, were children when this happened, among them June Aoki Burke. She was a fourth grader when her family and neighbors were forced to leave everything they owned behind. You'll notice, though, in these pictures, photographs, everybody's dressed up. The women are wearing the nicest coats and hats. The men are wearing nice suits and coats. And the children are all dressed up with their toys, uh, dolls. It's because I realized, like my parents, they never said, anything. They just said, oh, you're going to go on a bus trip. Oh, uh, you're going to go on a train trip to Arkansas. You know, they made it out to be a fun thing for us children. And so on these pictures, you see them getting on these buses, getting on these trains quietly, all dressed up like they're going to go to some kind of event, um, some kind of church event. To learn more about June's explanation of the images you see, uh, there is the website. And when you visit, you'll learn that June is, is explaining the importance of why everyone looks so calm in the photographs, because she says her parents and other children's parents didn't want the youngsters afraid or frightened. So you, you don't see chaos and uh, combat and, and disorder, because they wanted everyone to be in order for what was going to be the unknown.